Hey guys, so it is almost spring. It's pretty much spring, but we are getting teased with these beautiful days like today and um, it makes you want to get out in the garden, but it's still too early to plant things because we are having freezing nights here and there. But there is something I need to do because we are going to be planting the potatoes soon. So I have my bucket. Look at these potatoes from last year that we harvested and um, it is time to cut them and cure them. So as you can tell, they have already started growing quite a bit. I'm not sure if this is going to be a problem or not, but I'm going to cut them. I'm going to put them in a cardboard box, which I have here, and we're gonna let them cure for the next week or so before we put them in the ground. So. Um, yeah, let's cut them up and see what we can get. So basically, I don't know, I haven't even looked in here yet, but look at this. This is just, this is so ridiculous. Um, yeah, look at this huge potato we grew last year. <laughs> I decided not to eat it because I wanted to plant it. But all of these that have something growing off of it, um, maybe I'll try and put two eyes on each cut um, we'll see what I can do, but I'm going to try and get as many as I can out of here so I can plant them and have even more potatoes. So you could put this whole thing in the ground, but I'm going to space them out a little bit more and hopefully we'll get more potatoes this year. So let's get started. here like maybe it was starting to rot in the middle I'm not sure but um, I'm just looking at it as an experiment so we're gonna see what happens but um, some of these were a little bit long so I cut some of them I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do or not but we're gonna find out but anyways I'm gonna let these cure so um, basically let them heal and hopefully well it will dry out on the outside and the skin will be hard and then when I put it into the ground they will not um, rot. There were a couple that were a little iffy in there so I just went ahead and um, decided to toss them. So anyways um, I'm gonna put these inside I'm gonna cover them um, just like with a light towel and then keep them in the dark because they've been getting more and more light here that's why they're growing like crazy we've kept them in our laundry room all winter but it's time for them to get into the ground so um, yeah that's what's going on with those and I will show you all the seeds that we planted we are super excited to get them in the garden so let's go take a look okay so right now we currently have two greenhouses this one is actually inside it's not closed obviously but it is storing our starts right by the window and they're getting fantastic sunlight so i think everything most things have pretty much sprouted so we'll go ahead and show you what we've planted um, and i keep rotating them so like every day i'll come and just turn them so that they don't you know their stem gets stronger by growing this way and that way and not just toward the sun that's kind of what i'm doing um, yeah, so in the back we have dill, we have carrots here, lettuce, okra, uh, these are pumpkins, parsley, I don't think the parsley is actually sprouted yet, the squash and basil, we have three things of beans, which we'll probably be planting more, but I just wanted to get some started, and then we'll plant more just to keep them going all summer. We have tomatoes, two things, two different types of tomatoes, peppers, I guess those haven't sprouted yet, and Swiss chard, lettuce, and then on the bottom rack we have, oh, a watermelon sprouted, that's, is that a watermelon? Uh, I think that may be a volunteer of another type, that does not look like watermelon to me. Um, spinach in the back, more tomatoes, kale, 
more beans and peas and another thing of carrots. And what's this one here? Oh, arugula. So yeah, we have this one inside and it's doing really, really well right by the window. I am going to put like a small fan in here since they are getting so tall just to strengthen their stems um, before they go outside. I'm not really sure because we're going to get pounded with another week or so of rain. I wish it was going to be like, like look at today, it's sunny and it's beautiful, but it's not going to stay. Tomorrow the rain is coming back. So um, just going to keep them inside a little bit longer and now I'll go show you the greenhouse outside. All right, here is the greenhouse outside. It's actually the same one and I opened it today because it was so hot in there. Things were not doing well. But basically in here we just have all of our strawberries and they are so ready to go into the garden. Um, I need to finish the strawberry bed so they can actually go out but yeah we just have strawberries that I pulled out of the ground from uh, last year to keep them from freezing in the snow but yeah we just have strawberries strawberries and more strawberries and then I had planted some flowers here and I think it got way too hot because that's what they look like now <laughs> but anyways that's kind of what the greenhouses are looking like and the cold frame is doing really really well as well i'll take you out there and we can take a look okay i gotta hold this up while i do this so look at these green onions oh my goodness they are so tall like we need to use we need to cut some of those and use them uh we have parsley back there i believe this is cilantro in that little pot there's thyme we have our celery that lasted all winter and then our lemon balm which is coming back and uh, really, really happy right now. We did plant some seeds in here. I believe this is kale. Um, I'm not sure if those are arugula or not, but it's kind of hard to tell. There's a lot of weeds in here, so I'm not sure that anything else is really sprouted per se. But yeah, then we have this whole side, which we'll put our tom a couple tomatoes and um, beans in the middle. But anyways, these are doing really well in here. It will be almost time to take this cold frame off and let these guys just be wild with the with the rain you can see here on the outside of the bed i have um a, what, a strawberry here that i didn't pull and it actually lasted all winter the strawberries came out of some pots that we had over in this corner and they trailed all in here and they actually rooted into the ground just like this and once they root you can actually cut like I believe this was the stem here. You can cut it from the other plants and it will do just fine. And that's exactly what I did to all of them in the greenhouse. So we started with, I think three strawberry plants in here and we ended up with, well, I don't know how many are in there, maybe 15 or so, but um, they didn't really produce anything last year. So I'm hoping this year, since they're more well established and there's more of them that maybe they will. I don't know, we'll see, I'm hopeful. But I thought there was some over here, maybe. Nope. And we let the bunny in here, so she kind of, she eats them when she comes in here. Um, yeah, and then this is my, this is all my beautiful compost from our composter. So it's obviously a little more uh, mulchy than just like a... Uh, a soil, but I we're just mixing this in the soil. It's basically just leaves and our vegetables and fruits from inside, but it is really, really nice stuff. And I did learn, don't put sticks in the composter because those take a really long time to compost. So something learned from that. But yeah, we took all that out and we will, we've been integrating that into the beds this year. So we'll see, hopefully that, um, gives it some really good nutrients and we're gonna have really big harvest this year we'll see I don't know we're always hopeful but um, that's part of the thing about gardening it's just fun and it's all a big experiment in my mind um, yeah so I don't know if there's anything else worth showing you back here but things are starting to get leaves which is super exciting we have our uh, raspberry plant vine. I don't know what you want to call it, but look at all the leaves that are that are coming on this guy. And I put this cage around it because it was just like laying on the floor. So I'm not sure if that's what I should be doing, but that's what I did do. And we have some more strawberries in here. You can see they're, they're very, very happy. We have this cage around because the squirrels, well, it needs to be readjusted obviously, but the squirrels and the bunnies were getting into that 
and destroying it. But anyways, that's what's kind of going on um, for our spring preparations for the garden. And yeah, we're super excited. I'm so ready for spring. I'm loving the sun right now. Like it feels so good. We haven't had sun in quite a few days and it's just, it's wonderful. It's going away though for a few more days. And then um, I think we'll have one more sunny day and then like a week of rain, <laughs> but that's okay. We're getting the ground ready for all of our plants, I guess. We'll just look at it that way. All right, thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you in our next video, bye. Well, today the strawberries are going in the bed. It is a rainy weekend, but I, it's not like cold outside. So I thought, why not get outside? So I have all the strawberries, just finished filling the bed with soil. So let's go plant them. me and there's another one way out there it's a little scared <laughs> the other one startled me and I scared it too hey sweetie come here you looking for your friend where'd he go somewhere back there <laughs> took off pretty quickly well, we just got rained out. <laughs> we both took cover. I'm in the shed and Carter's in the gazebo. We got most of the strawberries planted, but it's pretty, it's just it's pretty wet now. <laughs> so I think we're probably done for today.